hi friends welcome back to my youtube channel this is solomon jagwe i am back with another quick tutorial uh, today we're gonna we are in daz studio and we're gonna i'm gonna be answering a question that i received in one of the comments to i shared a blender video or uh, the blender the daz 3d daz studio bridge to blender and Someone asked me, is it possible to send multiple characters paused uh, from Daz Studio into Blender? Okay, so today I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to answer that question. Uh, so here's a set of characters that I've put together. This one actually reminds me of a uh, Black Panther. There's a Ugandan actress that is uh she she's like a really <laughs> good fighter but she I'm, I'm proudly ugandan so i was very happy to see a ugandan actor in black panther but she this character reminds me of her uh Swimba, that's her name and so today i'm going to be sharing the, the process of sending this character these two characters paused into blender and i'm using a script uh, it's, you can find it under scripts bridges it's going to be blender so does to blender bridge that's the one that I'm, I'm doing today and so let's let's see what happens and as as always i try to keep the program running for as long as possible so you see exactly how long it takes sometimes like in the past i've actually shut down blender thinking that uh, the process had failed but sometimes you just have to be a little bit patient so let's see how we can take these two guys uh, this super uh, this one looks like a captain and a rank, high ranking officer and this one like a character that looks like from uh, black panther but anyway let's see what they look like in blender using the does to blender bridge okay i've already installed it if you haven't installed this uh, plugin uh, please uh, i'll share a link in the description below uh, showing the video that I, I did the process that you have to do to get it to work in blender so let's start with uh, Daz Studio. And I always encourage you, whenever you're in Daz Studio, make sure you turn off uh, I, NVIDIA Array. I usually just choose, switch uh, to Smooth. And make sure the characters are selected. So we, I'll go ahead and select uh, Darius and Wichena. These are the two characters that I'm, I'm using. And you can try this out yourself if you have these characters. But any other character will work as well. It's okay all right let's go to scripts up here go to bridges blender and then click on does to blender and let's see how long it takes click on that and make sure you select uh, subdivision level zero accept and you notice what just happened it turned off one of the characters so this Yuchina character has been disabled and this is the i think for those of you who may have tried it out and were wondering why it wasn't working it does do this in the process so again i'm gonna let it go through i'm gonna record every step of the way so you have an idea of how long it takes let's click accept so it's going through and sending the darius character and it moved him a little bit to the right hand side so i'm gonna go ahead and click accept with a minimum of and uh, wait for it Let's give it a chance to go through and depending again on the speed of your computer so recently i upgraded my system so it's I, if you've watched my previous videos this is going way way faster than uh the my previous uh transfer now it, so it turned off darius 8 and now it has uh, Uchena, uh activated and it's asking me to do the same thing so make sure you do the same things uh, sub uh, division level zero accept same thing include minimum morphs go ahead and accept and again depending on how long i mean how good your machine is uh, this process can be it can take a long time or it can be very lengthy but let's see how long it takes so after the export is done i'll go ahead and fire and click to uh, blender and then we'll import and see how that process takes us as well so let's go through Let's see how long it takes. Looks like a lot, a lot of moths that are being sent over. <laughs> but that's because this character has an outfit 
and the outfit has different morphs to fit different characters so it might if it's a simple character it might not take as long because you notice that uh, the darius character didn't take very long but uh, it seems like the uchenna character is taking longer and it's sending way more it's like uh shapes than it did for the darius character but let's let's let it run okay and i think before i upgraded my my system this probably would have taken a longer you know time longer than what he just did right now so it's done and it did, that didn't take 10 minutes it took, it took actually less than uh, i think five minutes to do that so let's go ahead and uh bring up blender and go to does to blender okay the bridge right here click on it and uh, i'm gonna do quick and also i'm gonna do size 100 and this is just uh, just an option you don't have to do this and if we had an environment i would have been, uh, i would have been able to click on import so there are two buttons here one is for the characters uh, both genesis 3 and genesis 8 and then there's one for in uh, importing the environment and the props so this is a really good update it's the 2.0 version of the da studio 2 blender bridge all right let's click on import new now watch what happens i'm just going to click one time make in this like an okay sign that shows up and sometimes at first it, when i first started working on this plugin i was confused i'm like do i click on okay here but no you just have to click on import new is this is just a label saying is it okay so click on that and you notice uh, the cursor has turned into like these two zeros at the bottom. At the top, is showing you the progress. So I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm actually not gonna move the mouse. I don't want it to crash. But let let's see how long it takes. And now in the top left hand corner, you notice that Blender is saying not responding. Uh, this doesn't mean that it has crashed. It just means that it's actually working behind the scenes. So just be patient. Wait for it to finish the process. And I'm just going to let it run so you can actually see uh, how long it takes. It can be kind of <laughs> frustrating because sometimes you don't know if it's actually working or if it's working at all. And But let's see uh, if it crashes and then uh, at least you would have seen how long it took. Okay, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> can you imagine how scary that is? Like if you look up here and it's, uh, it says Blender not responding. So here's the car. Here are the two characters. So to my dear friend who asked, is it possible to send uh, m multiple characters to Blender uh, from DAS Studio using the uh, the DAS to Blender Bridge? It is possible, and you can, as you can tell, the poses have been brought in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, enable the rendering. So click on that. Uh, we initially we're gonna be using Cycles and there's the character so it has brought in the character and you can still interact with them in real time which is really really good so guys um for you who anyone who has been wondering is it possible to bring in characters from like multiple characters pose and does it keep the poses yes it does so you can be able to set this up and i'm gonna do one more thing so right now it's uh, rendering using cycles but i'm gonna switch from cycles to EV, so you also see what it looks like. Click one time, I give it a chance to process. And in EV, you notice that it turned off the backdrop, it's processing the textures. Again, just be patient, it's, it's still working, it's not broken. And it's still saying not responding up at the top. Uh, you know, what I wish that uh, maybe if to the developers of uh, Blender, maybe they can put like a progress bar of some kind or Maybe when uh, maybe Daz Studio can work with the Blender Foundation to find a way of indicating on the screen that something is actually happening. Because right now, um, uh, to be honest, I would actually probably do Control Z <laughs> to restart the program because it looks like it crashed, but it hasn't crashed. So there we go, and uh, we have the characters using EV in real time. To render now i promise that uh, i'll do another tutorial i'll do my best to follow up on uh customizing the characters but there you go you have the characters 
rendering in real time using EV. And this is really quick. This is the beauty of uh, Blender, I'm telling you, because this right now, I mean, this is uh, like real time rendering and the characters are even before you do the customization of anything like the lighting and adding lighting and everything. It's still very, very quick to in you know, for the interaction. So, yes, you can bring in multiple characters into Blender from DAS Studio using the DAS to Blender bridge. I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to, not, uh, please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell and uh, so that you can alert it when I post a new video. Thank you again so much for your support. I just looked at uh, the recording of this video. I'm at uh, 4,990 subscribers. I'm about to hit 5,000 and I'm very excited and I owe it all to you guys who have been supporting me. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the comments. If you're using this uh, bridge, please share your thoughts and let me know what you think of it. And I'll continue to share more videos. I think my next uh, video will have to do with the uh, animation. I actually bring char character animation from Daz into this uh, in into Blender. So thanks again. See you next time with a new tutorial. Stay safe, much love, and please dare to dream big. Don't forgive up. Don't give up on your dream. Please don't give up on your dream. Much love. Bye for now.